All right, we're ready for a new batch. This time we are going to do strawberries, sliced strawberries. So I'm gonna tell you really quick, normally we don't plan to do fresh, um, we don't plan to really freeze dry fruits and vegetables unless, unless first of all, it's a wicked awesome sale at the store or secondly, if we have access to something either we've grown or fresh picked, you know, pick your own, something like that. Now, so those are two qualifiers on our family freeze drying fruits and vegetables. Outside of that, we purchase all our freeze dried fruits and vegetables from Thrive Life. Now, <clears throat> my reasonings for that is because the nutritional value. Um, like I said, unless something's on a, a super amazing sale that it's like better to have something than nothing, you know, it's it's so worthwhile to do it. In those cases, we'll freeze dry it. Like when the asparagus was on sale for 98 cents a pound, we got a bunch and we freeze dried it. We understand nutritional value, anything that you get in the grocery store is gonna have a lower nutritional value than something fresh picked. And the reasons behind that are when they when they put food in a grocery store, they have to pick it off the vine way before it's ripe. And so they pick it because they've got so many days. They can have up to 80 days of transfer, of, of transportation. So it goes from being picked to being, uh, you know, shipped, sat in a warehouse to ripen or at the grocery store, freezer room, whatever. A lot of times there's so much time between where it's when it's picked and when it's in the store and and sometimes they're artificially ripened things like that and and that's how stores do it for mass production and being able to have food available for so many people they have to find ways to make the food last the difference is nutritionally nutritional value wise in the food when they're picking it before it's ripened it, the food doesn't have that time to absorb more nutrients. So when you get something fresh from your garden, you don't pick a tomato, generally, you don't pick a tomato until it's ripe and it's ready, right? When it's bright red tomato, you pick it and you go and you use it right away. So the re what that does is allowing it to stay and ripen on the vine that's more time that whatever the food is, the produce, the fruit, the vegetable, it's able to absorb more nutrients. Oh, and I, I started this up, so um, it must be at temperature. It sure is. So anyhow, the longer something is able to ripen on the vine, the more nutrients it's gonna have in it. That's why we choose to do all our fruits and vegetables from Thrive Life. Thrive Life, um, free, they're a freeze dried company. They have the, seriously the best quality. I even, I, we have our own freeze dryer obviously, but we still do fruits and vegetables through Thrive Life because they get, they let them ripen on the vine and then flash freeze them, get them to the freeze dryers and, and then they, freeze dry them. So they have higher nutritional value than even what you'd get in the grocery store. So that is something that we personally do. Um, so like I said, our two rules are unless it's on a super amazing sale or we're able to get like grow from our own garden, fresh pick, or we know somebody, um, those are the only times we're going to freeze dry fruits and vegetables ourselves. So um, and like I said, our, for our reasoning is nutritional value. So what we did, we did have some friends that do a co-op and they were able to get some fresh picked strawberries brought in from California. So we picked these up on Saturday. They were literally picked from the fields, I think Thursday and Thursday or Friday, and we got them on Saturday. So it doesn't get much fresher than that, right? That's, that's pretty good to ripening on the vine. Um, and so that, so we did, we purchased those. Sometimes doing that's a little bit more expensive, but you have the flavor is way better and everything. These strawberries are amazing. They're a five out of five on the sweetness scale. They're so delicious. This is usually the strawberries we get when we make our strawberry freezer dram, which you can find that recipe on our blog. My kids, my family, we all love it. So we make, we make it every year and we'll just stock up our freezer with the strawberry freezer jam to last us for the year. So we wanted to freeze dry some of these delicious strawberries while we had them. 
So we've got the five trays. So these are just sliced. We use an egg slicer, makes it quick and easy to do. Um, you just slice off the top, the green stem, and then put them in an egg slicer and load up your trays. Now we've pre-froze these trays here. So that does cut down on your freeze drying time. We had, we had our lovely little separators. I love these. I just can't say enough great things about them. You put them on the corners of the trays and you're able to stack the trays in the freezer. So we froze all five trays overnight and now we're ready to start them. So I'm gonna put a pre-frozen. And remember, when you're putting something in the freeze dryer that's already frozen, you wanna start your freeze dryer ahead of time. And probably about 20 to 30 minutes. I've noticed on mornings where my garage is really cold, it, one time it only took like seven minutes to get it at 20 degrees. And it just, my garage was already that cold. Now in the summertime, I'm thinking it's probably gonna take a, the full 30 minutes. Um, so this, this time it took about 20 minutes for it to get to temperature. So we've got it there. My drain valve is closed. Um, put it in here. We're going to hit pre-frozen. It's a load food in the freeze dryer. Um, okay, so we're going to hit continue. And now it's freezing. <laughs> but it's a, so having your food pre-frozen cuts down on the freeze dry time. Um, but like I said, you wanna start your machine early and get it, you just press start and let it kinda of sound like, it kinda of sounds like a refrigerator turning on and that's what it's doing is it's cooling down the chamber. And so give it anywhere from, you know, 20 to 30 minutes, but the best way to check is there'll be a little thermostat on the window and it'll tell you the temperature. I generally don't put stuff in there until it's about 40 or less degrees um, because by the time I get everything loaded in, it's probably going to be down pretty close. But the reason they do that is you don't want to just put it in first without having the chamber cold because your freezer stuff, especially if you don't have a deep freeze, it might start to defrost before the machine gets up to the frozen temperature again. So. If it's pre-frozen, make sure that your chamber is cold before adding in. If it's not pre-frozen, it doesn't matter. You can just put it in and start it because it'll free the chamber in the freeze dryer will freeze it for you. So we're good to go. We got our five trays of strawberries and I'm hoping because they're frozen, they won't take a super long time. Um, so we'll check back and see how long these take. And they're pretty thin. We, we did with an egg slicer, it cut them pretty thin. So we'll see how long it takes. All right, here we go, 23.45. So this actually took a little longer than I thought it would. So let's open our valve. Get the pressure down. Love watching this. Oh, there's snap crack pop. All right, let's see. There we go. Let's see how our strawberries did. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Look at that beautiful color. Oh, and they're perfectly crisp. Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm gonna go ahead, you know what, because I didn't catch this, I'm gonna go ahead and warm trays. I've actually never tried this function before. Let's do that, warm trays. I'm kind of curious to see what that does because I've never used that feature before. But they've told me it's an important feature to do because because this ended a little bit ago, maybe an hour or so ago, and I didn't come in here and catch it right away, the whole inside is pretty cold, where when you're right here, right after the end, it's still warm, so it's fine, um, part of the drying. So, I'm gonna have it on warming trays, and let's see what that does. All right, as I'm editing the video, I realize I didn't get the warming trays part. So, huh, obviously I'm behind on editing videos here, but let me just tell you, the warming trays is a great feature. If you take the trays out when they're really cold, if you don't catch your freeze dryer right when it ends, 
then basically you can get some condensation adding moisture back into the foods that you freeze dried. So if it's if your trays are pretty cold, definitely use the warm tray function and it just takes it a couple of minutes, warm those trays up and you're good to go. Um, these strawberries turned out so amazing. Perfect little travel snack or they're really good in cereal too. I love it. Um, so definitely try that if you have access to some really good fresh homegrown or fresh picked produce. It's definitely the way to go and um, keep watching. Thanks for watching so far. I hope you're learning stuff from our videos and I love it if you'd like and subscribe and so we can keep doing more videos. Thanks.